Action. Awesome. So welcome back. I think this is the seventh in the series of uh, lectures or a series of videos that we have to show you how to intubate a patient. In this one, what we're going to be doing is focusing on securing the tube once the tube's been placed on your patient's trachea and it's been confirmed that it's in the back in the trachea. So it's a taping process. And if you remember that order for oral uh, intubation, it's bottom top, top bottom, top tube. So that's bottom top top, bottom, top tube. So the top tapes are always going to go on the tube, the bottom tapes are going to go on the patient. And you always start taping from the side that the tube's located on. Which side do you put the tube on? Well, it doesn't matter, just as long as there's no sores or lacerations on one of the sides that you've chosen. So with this patient, they've got no problems with their, their, their mouth, there's no any lacerations, there's no reason why we couldn't use the right side of their face or the left side. So we're going to start on the patient's right because it's more convenient for us this video. So the patient's not biting down, not doing anything. Uh, they're calm, they're sedate, they're not moving. It's really easy to secure the tubes, uh, the tape to the tube. Make sure the patient's face is nice and clean. If you have to adjust for things like beard, etc., you can double side your tape if you need to or use a specialized endotracheal tube holder if there's a lot of facial hair, etc., and you can't uh, shave it off, etc. But in this particular case, we're good to go. The patient's clean shaven, we can tape the tube in. Now when you're taping the tube in, you should have gloves on. Diane's got her gloves on. I simply took my gloves on so I can show you an easy way of taping the tube in place without having any, diff any problems with uh, the tape sticking to my, my gloves. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the tape and Diane's going to support it. And the person that's assisting you with this is very, very important. They have a really, really crucial role. And that role is to ensure that role is to, to ensure that ventilation is going on, the tube is secure, and they're holding on to the tape. So they've got a really, really important role to, to perform while you're doing this. The first thing you can do is you're going to tear the tape. Make sure also the double-sided portion stays underneath the patient's neck. So sir, we're simply tearing the tape. This is not your skin ripping. So tear the tape. Take the bottom tape. That's this one in my right hand. Bring it over top of the patient between their nose and their mouth going on to the other side, ensure that you're going below their earlobe and that the tape doesn't go on the earlobe. The next thing I'm going to do is going to bring the top tape up in this fashion. I'm also going to grab the tube from Diane. I've got the tube. And let the person that you're working with know when you've got the tube or when they are supposed to be looking after the tube. I'm going to bring the tape up in this fashion. I'm going to go over top of the tube while still holding on to it. And I'm going to secure the tape around the tube in this fashion. I'm also taking care to make sure that the pilot balloon line doesn't come taped between the endotracheal tube and the tape itself. So I'm going around the tube a few times in this fashion. Three should be enough. There. So the tape is done on the right hand side. So bottom top, top tube. Pilot balloon line is not taped to the tube. It's got free and easy access. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to get Diane to Take the uh, tube and secure it while I move to the other side. So now what I'm going to do, uh, how's the view there, Cliff? Is it okay? I could move around. Okay, why well, don't we just pause it there. 